sorry, my um Sorry, my camera died, but um, yeah, like it didn't take a whole lot to get this wig to look good, y'all. And like, definitely know that the um, yeah. So normally, I, I am just really surprised at how nice this wig actually turned out i wasn't expecting for it to be this cute especially because you guys saw the color of the lace was definitely too dark for my skin tone now i in the future would love to see my first wig come out with a transparent or an hd lace for this type of wig because i definitely feel like the t-part wigs are so much better than the five by five lace closure wigs and the reason why i say that is because it is in my opinion so i i hope that in the future my first wig will look into getting a more hd or transparent lace instead of the dark lace that was on this wig just because i feel like it will be even more of a beginner friendly type of wig um at times so sometimes i recommend so for so for beginner wigs those who don't have any type of knowledge or skills on how to install a lace frontal wig i always recommend a five by five lace closure wig because you get very limited amount of parting space so you can't go wrong there and you don't have to worry about like the whole entire uh, perimeter of your head being covered with lace so you have less work and you have less chances of making a mistake and so with the new wig that my first wig sent me, which is this T-part wig, I feel like it would have been the perfect uh, beginner friendly, no skills needed type of wig if the lace was just a little bit more transparent or invisible. Because I did have to go in and do a little bit of manipulation to the color of the lace because it was just way too dark for my skin tone. Um, and that's something that I don't want people who are not experienced with wearing wigs to do because then it could make you frustrated and then it could turn you off to wearing wigs just as a whole or at least installing the wig on your own so i definitely would suggest um but other than other than that the wig is really nice like i said there are things that you can do to alter that or tweak that or finesse so there are things that you can do to finesse the color of the lace if it's too um dark or light for your skin tone but i mean with this type of wig i would just prefer an hd or invisible lace because it just makes the wig perfect like this it just makes the wig excellent like this is a good good wig okay but if that lace was blendable and it was easy to melt this would be the perfect hands down wig for beginners and even those who are advanced because you don't have to do anything and then even if you're advanced you don't have to worry about doing so many steps that normally come with securing a full lace wig or a lace frontal wig y'all i am really feeling this hair and i haven't worn a bob like a cute bob like this in a hot minute so i'm about to take my little cute ass i'm about to take my little cute self outside get some cute pictures get dressed up because this hair this look is a look today okay it is a look yes it is so as you guys can see i'm definitely feeling this wig i'm definitely loving it it's definitely going to be a part it's definitely going to be in rotation of my favorite wigs um, to wear especially right now as it is getting hot outside i'm in georgia i'm in the south so it can get really really hot and so not having a lot of hair on your body is always a plus um, in these hot summer days especially to come 
anyways i hope you guys enjoyed this video as much as i enjoyed filming it and showing it to you guys if you did definitely make sure you thumbs up this video if you're not already a subscriber please consider subscribing to my channel of course if you liked what you saw in today's video and i appreciate you guys so much for rocking with me and supporting me um and i'll see you guys in the next video bye Mwah. is super blended like this wig is so pretty Do I have any other videos I need to film? I don't think I do. Okay, so we out. We done.